All right, so this particular Ink Stitch tutorial is specifically for Ink Stitch version 2.2.0. The Linux doesn't matter because it should work the same on Windows and on Mac. When I was doing the what's new in version 2.2.0, there were a couple of things that really stood out to me. And I want to look at those couple of things a little closer in this video. One of those being satin stitch uh satin stitch corners are or are much better now so we're gonna we're gonna just real quick we're gonna make a rough a really rough and we're gonna select all of that a we're gonna make that a about a four width we're gonna Turn that A into a satin stitch. But just like that, we have made a satin stitch that's not going to work, even though it was done automatically, because of this right here. It would stitch out, but it would not stitch out correct. So we're going to move one of these down here, and we're going to move the other one down here. Now it will stitch out. Notice that that's interesting. Okay, it made a nice little roof over the top. That's pretty cool. So the rest of it should stitch out. I'm going to move these up so that they are level, or at least pretty close to level. Okay, so now we have something that'll stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that first that big part we're going to go into the, into the params and we're going to have a look at the params because in the params for this this is where it comes into play now i can zoom in on the peak here it doesn't look very good so what i'm going to do so we're going to going to come in here and Grab the nodes tool, grab those two nodes and make them one. And now we have a peak. All right, now let's see what it looks like. Okay, that is better. Now, what we want to take a really close look at is this short stitch inset right here, right here. If you notice, I, don't, I hope you can see this, that there's a couple of these stitches. Once it starts making that hard turn, there's a couple of these stitches that don't go all the way down. And that is intentional. That is part of this short stitch inset, which will take some of the pressure off of your corners. And you can change that inset. Right now, it's default to 15%, which means it goes, it lacks, I think that lacks 15% of being all the way down. Not exactly sure how to interpret it otherwise, because if you go 50, then it will be 50% of all going all the way down. So you can see that a whole lot easier right here and we can slow this down we can slow this way down go step by step so see that's the first one that's the first inset right there going 50 percent of the way the next one goes all the way and then 50 percent and then all the way that takes a lot of pressure off the inside of that turn so we're going to go ahead and apply and quit. And then we're going to take a, a, a simulator realistic view of that. So right now I have it 50%. Default is 15. I have not stitched one of these out yet to see how it looks. And I just switched to realistic preview. It looks pretty good. The the what it's trying to what it's trying to solve is being too dense. 
in this bottom corner. So you're taking away half of the density, half of the stitches in this bottom turn, but you're leaving all of the stitches in the top turn. So the, the theory is very sound. So that is an A and so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to leave that A, I'm going to shrink it a little bit. I don't need it to be that big. We're going to shrink it down just a little bit. We're going to duplicate it, drag the duplicate over here, and then I'm going to change this duplicate to the way that I usually make an A, and then we're going to compare it. We're actually going to stitch it out and compare it. So the way that I would make a, make a stitch is what we're going to do is go into commands, I think. Yes, commands and attach command to selected objects. Um, satin cut point right there. Hit apply. Hit close. I didn't mean to do both of them. That's fine. Just go ahead and get rid of that one. This one I want right here. And then extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, cut, satin column. You have to highlight that, I guess. So try again, extensions, ink stitch. Satin cut satin column. Excellent, excellent. Now we have a cut saw, a cut column. And what we're going to do to do this the way that I usually do it would be to take this. I need to add another. Give me another. Where did it add it? I don't know. Okay. I guess we need to add it in between, right? Okay, there it is. Bring us all the way up to the end. And then take this one all the way up. I need to zoom way in on this so that we know what's going on. I need to get rid of this. Pull this to the peak. We're going to try to make this exactly the same. But I might not be able to. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing on this one. Add another node. Grab that node and pull it up. Grab that node and pull it up. Make sure they cross a little bit, ever so little bit. And what is that? It's like I need that. Okay. Now they should cross. All right, I'm going to see what that looks like. And I need both of those. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay. I need both of those extensions, ink stitch params. Okay, that's actually really good.
I did it in the wrong order, but other than that, it's really good. So I'll move this one down. Now it should be in the right order. Tangent link stitch params. So this is how I would do it. And we're going to, we're going to stitch both of these out. Okay. Now the final thing to do is one thing I need to do is do a, we're going to do an auto route on both of these. Just see how it comes out. And I like auto route, but auto route does not remove unnecessary trim stitches, trim command. On the side, on the size that we have here, it's not going to matter. So, uh, satin tools, auto route, satin columns. Hit close and then do it again. Um, this one and extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, auto route, satin column. Okay, so now we have two auto routes. Outstanding. So let's go ahead and do a quick preview and see what this should preview to look like. Still like my manual better as far as the preview goes we're actually going to stitch this out and we're going to have a look at it so we're going to see what it looks like close that out we're going to go ahead and save and then we're going to save as and in this case dst And then we're going to have a look at it. We're going to stitch it out. I'll be right back. Now here's what those, what that uh, stitch out looks like. It's actually not real good on either one of them. This one would be easier to fix than this one, I think. I'll show you how to fix that one. And that's just as simple as giving them more of a cross. And just like that, that would be fixed. That's all it takes on that one. The other one, I'm not real sure. It's still too dense. And part of the problem is the throw is too long. So when it's stitching from center point to center point, it's really long. And why is my ruler acting like that? Okay, it's, wow, 17 millimeters long. <laughs> that's why it looks like that. So that's part of the problem. Anyway, there's that. There's another thing I want to look at real quick. And we're just going to wipe these out. I just want to look at using just a straight letter A. The, uh, give me text, yeah, text and font, uh, bold, apply, make it bigger. And all I want to look at here, it looks a lot like what we just designed. And all I'm looking at here is Go to extensions. This is a fill. Oh, we need to path object to path. Now go to extensions, ink stitch params. Keep in mind, this is just a fill. But what I want to look at is we're going to turn off under path. We're going to turn off fill underlay. And 
on autofill, I want to contour. I don't see what that looks like. I want to see what that looks like stitched out. I'm leaving everything, everything on here. I'm leaving as, um, as default because I don't know enough about it yet to change it. Uh, join style round mitered. <sighs> that is cool. <laughs> Beveled. That is too cool. I love it. Okay, so again, leaving everything as default. We'll see what this looks like stitched out. All right, so this is our contour design A. And I love it. it. It's actually a little dense. I need to reduce the density just a little bit, which you would just do uh, in ink stitch params. Right here, spacing between rows, just make that number a little bigger, like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, something to that effect. And you can see, what was it, 0 0.25 or. 0.25 was the default. 752 stitches for that. And if we go 0.3, it goes down to 625. So a little number will make a, a little bit of change in the number will make a pretty big difference. Now there's one more thing that I want to look at. I'm deleting that. I'm going to go ahead and open. Um, let's see. that one and yes that one okay so this is the one this is the problem child that i'm working on right now but these little flowers are going to be okay so i'm going to grab that one and that one i'm going to copy that I'm going to close this particular Inkscape out and we're going to paste. Ah. We're going to paste that right in there. And this is going to be, I'm going to try to fit this in that uh, same already hooped test case scenario that we've got going on. So I'm going to, I'm going to shrink this down just a hair. Okay, now I'm going to go into extensions, ink stitch params. I have both of those objects already selected. I'm going to see if we can do this for both of them. Underpath, turn off, underlay, turn off. Exceptional. And then. We're going to change both of those to a contour. Interesting. So it looks like I have not cut that out. We must remedy that. I did not. Okay, so I don't have that cut out yet. I'm still, that other piece is still a work in progress, so that's fine. I'm going to duplicate that. And we'll select that background, hit path, select difference, and just like that, we have a cutout. But now I'm going to go ahead and select both of these. Now let's go back into params. That was a quick and easy fix, wasn't it? And underpath, turn that off. Underlay, turn that off. Go into autofill, let's contour. Alrighty, and then on both of those, I'm going to decrease the density a little bit. Let's go with a 0.3. I'm actually going to go more 
go point four because I want I don't mind having some underlying it's gonna be on a towel on a hand towel so black hand towel is what they're talking about so a little bit of that underlying color coming through is gonna be just fine uh inner to outer is fine single spiral well that's kind of neat Uh, double spiral, inner to outer, single double. That's cool. A lot of really neat things here. Join style, round metered beveled. Won't make a lot of difference on that particular one, is it? We'll need contour, inner to outer. That's what it was fault. Yeah, we're going to leave it on inner to outer, I think. Actually, here's what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. Okay, spacing between rows, good. Avoid self-crossing, doesn't matter. I wonder how much that that changes the design. Interesting. It looks like a maze. That is cool. I'm going to leave that avoid self crossing checked. Um, yeah. Okay. Apply and quit. So there's one. And then we're going to do another one. We're going to duplicate both of those. Drag that over. And on this one, I'm probably going to have to change my change my hoop out there because now I'm getting carried away. So on this one, I'm going to change to a single spiral. Neat. Let's see what double looks like if it changes it much. Okay, I see what it does. It just, yeah, that's fine. Not a lot of difference in the two. Yeah, not a lot of difference, so I'm going to leave it on that. Uh, we'll go with that. Hit apply and quit. So now we have these two. We're going to save. File save. And then place. I've got to go back out there and get a USB stick again. Okay, so there is the results. And I did obviously manage to keep it in the same hoop. I could have made them a little bigger. Making them a little bit bigger would have been probably a little nicer. But to get them to fit on that monster munchy, or no, munchy machine that I'm doing. This is the size that I kind of need to be. So that was a test case for me on that one. And to show off the params with the, with the contour design. I like that, man. I really do. That's going to come in handy in a lot of things that I do for the business. I really like that. Anyway. That's it. I'm done. Um, that's all for this video. And please, if you liked what I did here, you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. Make an old trucker happy. And until next time, thanks for watching.